Hey, welcome back. Uh, we've got a 2013 Lexus RX350 with a TPMS issue where the light is blinking on the dash. And we're gonna go ahead and replace that today. Okay, as you can see, that light is blinking there in the top right hand corner. Usually what it does is it blinks and then it goes solid and it stays solid. Um, I've replaced three out of the four TPMS sensors in the vehicle. Um, and today I'm gonna replace that fourth one and see if this light is resolved by that. Okay, these are the tools I'll be using to replace that TPMS sensor in this rear tire. Impact wrench is probably optional, and this floor jack, this heavy duty is probably a little optional, but I'm using the Autel sensor. Just got it at Napa Auto Parts for about 30 bucks. TPMS Autel programmer, also some torque wrenches for the TPMS sensor and the lug nuts. Not 100% necessary, but I would recommend it. And then the jack from the actual car to break the bead on the tire. I'm just gonna show you the low battery on that TPMS sensor that hasn't been replaced yet. So I'm gonna go into quick mode, Lexus RX series, 2006 to 2019, 350 megahertz, 107J. And then I'm going to scan all sensors. So as you can see, I actually don't have any low batteries right now, but this uh, rear one is actually uh, going back and forth between low battery and not low battery. So I think it's what's being tripped. And all the other sensors I've replaced with OEM or Autel. I'm gonna go ahead and just loosen these up. All right, got all these loose. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the back end. Okay, went ahead and put it on that center piece right there. Jack this up and go ahead and put this jack stand under there for safety. Okay, I have it jacked up with a little room underneath and then I was able to put the jack stand right here. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and take off these lug nuts here. All right, we'll go ahead and take off the tire now. Next up, we're going to squirt the tire bead with a little bit of water and soap just so when it comes off the bead, it is able to have some type of lubricant. And then just take off the cap here. And then I've got a stem removal tool. You probably don't need one of these. It's just kind of nice to have one. So just put it in here. And if, if you don't, then you can just push it down manually. Well, all the air came out. It took probably about two minutes or so to come out. Um, I put the car, the tire under the car now. You can see I just put this jack from the back of the car and put it in there. And you can see so it doesn't hit the metal there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jack this um, and then it will break the bead. Okay, I got the jack on there and I squirted on a little bit of water and soap around the bead again. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start this. You can see I broke the bead. Okay, we're done with the jack now. Okay, next up we're gonna attempt to program the sensor. This is a brand new Autel sensor from Napa Auto Parts. Um, it's a universal TPMS sensor and with the Autel programmer should be no issues. So we're gonna go to advanced mode and uh, Lexus RX series, and then the 315 megahertz. And then we're gonna go to program sensor, and then we're gonna do auto create one through 16 sensors. Hit yes, um, keep that there. Do you want to continue? Yes, one sensor programming. Uh, the good thing about this is it's a unique ID compared to the copy OBD. Um, so the, the module in the car won't mix this one up um, with the one that you throw in the trash. So um, auto create, so it looks like we're good. Go ahead and hit okay. And that sensor has been programmed and it's ready to go in the tire. Even if you put it in the tire, you're still able to program it later.
Next step, I'm just going to push this down. As you can see, you can see the TPMS sensor there. I'm just gonna put a piece of wood in here. Should be enough. So you can do that. And now I'm gonna hold the bottom of this. And holding the bottom of it, just taking off this part and then pushing it through and then I'm making sure it doesn't fall inside the tire. There we go, I just pulled it right out like that. This is the OEM sensor. Um, it was a 2013 Lexus and it's 2024, so um, 11 years, that's kind of a long time for it to be working, so pretty good. Make sure you grab this washer in here so you don't have two washers in there. Okay, next up, we're gonna install the new sensor. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the cap here. Take off this. Take off that washer there. And then without dropping it inside, and then grab it through and then put that washer on it and then that nut again just finger tight for now and then i'm going to go ahead and grab that torque wrench okay so i got my torque wrench um, we're going to torque it to four newton meters or 35 uh, inch pounds uh, and all these sensors come with this little metal rod which there's a hole right there just to keep it in place I'm gonna hold that right there and then go ahead and torque this so I got it torqued down um, it's probably not 100% necessary to torque it but I, I just like to torque it because I have the torque wrench um, it is normal that these bend too um, it's bent on me twice now uh, one on this one and then one on another one I'm gonna take this out and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it pumped up. I'm gonna spray this again. Just get the bead nice and wet with the soapy water. Just a tiny bit of soap in this water. Just so it'll slide back onto the bead with ease. Okay. And then I'm gonna set my pump to the right pressure. And then sometimes what helps to get that bead on is just get down on it and just to get it started, and then it should um, pop back on that bead, and it's it's kind of a loud pop, so it'll, it'll kind of scare you. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get that going. So I pumped it up to 32 PSI. I'm gonna go ahead and put this cap back on. Last step is to relearn these sensors. So I'm going to do advanced mode, Lexus, RX series, 2006 to 2019, 315107J, and then we're going to position relearn here. Okay. Yes, clear the previous data. Okay, it says engage brake. Okay, inflate all the tires, starting with the, okay, so we're gonna hit okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start this. It's gonna ask me to plug this in. Okay, I plugged this in, and the little outlet's under there. Um, next step on here. Hit yes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car. Just the ignition. And then.
please proceed with the following steps. Sensor ID and relearn successful and you can see the lights off. Hey, thanks again for watching. For more details on the install, you can refer to the description below. Um, also, please comment with any questions you have and don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, also, if you get any DTC codes showing up on the Autel programmer that won't clear with the red exclamation point, um, like the C2111 through C2115, uh, then you can refer to my other video I made to resolve that. Um, and thanks again for watching.